this is Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Secrets and dope and music and reactions. Liquor and Wolves. I said Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Secrets and dope and a German talking bullshit. Liquor and wolves. Fuck, 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 fuck. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and we're live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world. This is Liquor and Woes. I'm Rob, and you are amazing, cool, awesome, super, super nice for being here. Thanks a bunch. So, uh, the reason we are here today or this afternoon really this is basically this is the first video i'm shooting with the light still uh with the sun still out sun if you want to call it that um the reason we're here is what happened day before yesterday when i did the uh, reaction to harry mac and beardy man collabing in london which was mind-blowing um something happened while i was watching the video and that triggered something in the comments and that triggered the reason for my being here today so this is what happened let's look into this real quick this is the reaction by the way this thing went through the roof this got like a thousand views in under 20 hours it's now at 17 it's one day old and, uh, and it reeled in like i don't know like 45 new subs so welcome to all you guys thanks for being here i hope uh, i can live up to the standards that i set in that um but yeah, let's check out what what happened in that and why we are here right now. So this is the Beardy Man Harry Mac thing. Yeah, what, you what, know what? what, what? what? That was a good suggestion, man. Have you tried Lewis Cole yet? Who's, who's Lewis Cole? Lewis Cole. That, that, was, a, a that was a good suggestion, man. Have you tried Lewis? Lewis Cole. It's not J Cole, is it? He has no Cole. It'll be L Cole. Never heard of him. Lewis Cole yet? Yeah, you know what? I went Did to you? I went to school with Lewis. Oh, we probably a drummer then. In, in, uh, in Los Angeles, so yeah, I've been knowing Lewis for a long time. He's fucking amazing, bro. Incredible man. He's amazing. I reckon it's you and Clowncore. Clowncore. <laughs> Dude, Clowncore is the shit, man. That shit blew my mind. <laughs> this seems to be just nerdism talk. Of you got to be way deep in the scene and material to get it. Or am I just out of the picture? So dumb. Yes, the answer is yes. You're just out of the picture, Rob. Um, so Clowncore, with um, with my asking myself, what is that? Who is that? Why has this gone past me? And if Harry is gonna is gonna you know give his sign of approval or his seal of approval by saying they're fire, it must be something worth checking out. And uh, so. Um, with so many people having seen this reaction, there was, of course, a major interaction on the video in the comments. And the first thing that was very nice of a user called Wasn't Me Too, <laughs> funny name, by the way, and shouts out, he was also in Black Pegasus' stream last night, and we got to chit-chat a little bit in that as well. So he hops on the, in the comments and says, Clowncore is an interesting project. From my understanding, the identities of those behind the masks, so I guess we're going to be seeing masks, um, of those behind the masks in the Do Band haven't been officially revealed. Lewis Cole, so full circle with the first question I had in my reaction, the guy Beardy Man first asked about is presumed to be the drummer. Beardy Man was jokingly implying that H Mac may also be in the group. Not my cup of tea, but uh, they really do explore experimental sounds, percussion, and presentation, which I do respect. Same here. It's very, very intriguing and sounds super interesting. So we go back and forth a little bit in the comments. I, I thank him for, for elaborating. And then he goes, um, and, and, and I ask, why have I never heard of this? Is this like some TikTok phenomenon that I, that I just don't see because I'm not on it? And he goes, Lewis Cole seems to be a really diverse, diverse and talented musician, so and so. And then in his second answer, he says, Clowncore, on the other hand, that's a pretty niche experimental experience that can be a love it or hate it. I guess it's like that with most music, right? Unless it's just your... <laughs> you know, wishy-washy pop. So it's always good when something, you know, polarizes. It's, it has a bunch of fans and it has a bunch of haters. That usually makes it intriguing and interesting because you're always going to have those that hate it and those that love it. And it's usually good because it triggers something, <laughs> um, a good or bad way. So he continues to love it or hate it. Here's a short, uh, less than two-minute sample, buckle up. So that was very, uh, really cool. 
And then the discussion continues further on later on in the day with a guy named Zichi. <coughs> hey, dude, shout out. He is Swiss and uh, speaks perfect uh, English in his comments. So um, he goes, yes, everyone and their dog is buzzing about this, righteously so. I have seen everything, so, so, and so. I also appreciate that you did talk the nerdy music production. Uh, greetings from Switzerland. So I say, uh, much appreciated. And since you are the first German-speaking commentator here, um, why don't you uh, go ahead and pick the next song and drink I do on the channel? And he apparently loved the idea. And he goes straight into the discussion about um, about Clowncore and goes, I guess you should then react to Clowncore, maybe. Drops link number one. Um, this is to ease you in or link number two. Um, this has been reacted to a lot and has occurred 2.5 million views as far as a drink that you um, you better get your hands on some absinthe. Just kidding, he says that. This will be a trip in itself. Maybe go for a gin and tonic. Uh, the best gin, in my humble opinion, would be a Monkey 47 or a classic Hendrix with the Schweppes tonic water or if you want something more exotic. So I go, oh, done. Let's do it. Uh, let me go shopping tomorrow and then uh, get into that. So he dropped me two links. One is um, with, the, with the annotation, ease yourself in. Second one is trip and i've excuse me i've never been one to you know start off in a kiddie pool i've always been one to just go straight on the five meter uh, dive board and uh, just go off the deep end um so we're going to do that we're going to do the second link um with no prior knowledge of anything only what um it was a me too said it's going to be experimental percussional and just incination and presentation of what they do seems to be or is going to be different so very intrigued to do that so um let's get into this video and stop it right here because the first thing we're going to do of course is um go with the sip suggestion of Twitchies as well and try us out some hendrix classic gin this is not your you know five dollar get me drunk and throw me uh, uh throw me in the in the corner gin this is actually this is um not supreme supreme but good stuff and it shows in the pricing and this is his suggestion as well the tonic water to go with it schweppes it's a german brand i think it could be austrian or swiss uh, swiss too it doesn't matter it's not my favorite tonic water um i'm a gin tonic dude per se yes and i usually like a um, thomas henry um, uh, uh, tonic to go with it, but since it's a Twitchy's, Twitchy's, um suggestion, I will abide. Now, fuck, I forgot to bring eyes. I'll be back in three, two, fuck, I can't fucking count backwards. Three, two, one, we're back with some icy shit. Icy shit that you don't, motherfucker. Yeah, Hendrix Gin, distilled and bottled in Scotland. It comes with a mileage of 44%. Wow. And uh, let's see if it tells us anything. The handcrafted gin is distilled with Assumption symph uh, a sumptuous symphony of no less than 11 botanicals. La, 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 la. Let's just give it a try. I mean, all this. I am a copywriter in advertising, and uh, if I start reading the advertising text on a product i am yes saving my own uh, saving my own craft but know that 99 percent of what's said there is just bs ah oh, no let's do straight test first of course now hendrix gin i'm just going to leave this here for a couple of seconds Oh, it smelled super intense. Not, you know, not diesel gasoline intense, but aroma intense. So, of course, clear, see-through. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, uh, Switchy. Cheers wasn't me too. And everyone else that interacted and is now new to the channel. Very much welcome. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Even straight, that's nice. It has this, it doesn't have a sting to it like, ooh, bite you in the taste buds. It's more like, 
it rolls over the tongue smoothly. It's kind of, it goes down with a little warmth, but it's not aggressive, uh, aggressive like, you know, acid in the, uh, in the pipes. It's very good. God damn. Most of the gins I drink, like uh, Gordon's and not cheap shit, they can only be done in mixers. This one, though, could be done straight. But I'm um, rarely a straight uh, drinker, so here's a gin and tonic, which is going to be my drink for this exciting experimental experience that we're in for with Clowncore. Right. So, again, cheers to everyone. Gin and tonic. Oh, yeah. Kind of a little, a little, um, a little setback with the, 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 the mixed drink is the fact that it schweps in there. But, you know, what, we, what will we not do for our users? So, Zwitschi, again, thanks a bunch. And everyone else that uh, interacted and commented. So, let's get into what we are going to be presented today. Um, this is only two... Two minutes, 16. <coughs> Computers. So we're somewhere like in a parking lot. There's a blue van. There's a, I don't know what kind of restaurant that is back there. Looks like a Chuck E. Cheese. Not sure. Anyway, I am completely open-minded. I am ready to be um, astounded, ready to be amazed, ready to be disgusted, whatever. <coughs> but we're in this together, so let's do it. Oh, oh wait 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 i need to check levels on this real quick so we see them here to the far right i'm gonna let it ring real quick just to see if that clips or not oh fuck this is some this is some fucking do y'all remember um okay go this band that produced all kinds of sounds in the car it like and then of course when advertisers come in it shit gets fucked up and creativity gets kind of you know castrated but they would place stuff alongside a track that they would drive in in a car uh, sponsored by an advertiser and just you know use the objects that they're driving past as keys or you know belts and whatever and as they are driving past all these things a song is being created yeah i get a little vibe kind of like that but this seems to be way more you know the basement punk rock approach to it. So let's start the silver, go full screen, and let it ring a little bit. So, okay, beat drop. Um, it's weird. There's all kinds of drum drum machines, computers. There's a physical snare that's being duct taped to the floor of the van. And homeboy over here seems to have a sax too, while playing like a ten key <laughs> mini keyboard that's also taped to uh, taped to the car. And there's a, there's a microphone coming in from the sim. This is a dope setup. I mean, just the idea of what they're doing is super nice, regardless of how how good or not good the song is. <laughs> Too, too much going on at the same time. What the what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So first, dude is playing his snare only with one stick. Of course, he has to use uh, uh, play the keys over there as well. Then all of a sudden, this super over overkill thing comes in, and we get like a little. Even though I don't hear lyrics, or is something wrong with my sound setup? Anyway, so we get like this. This bouncing dot of karaoke, karaoke, which is really a clown's head or face bouncing over a copy that is way too fast for me to read. What in the fuck is going on? God damn. Yeah. 
VR porn. <laughs> that cutaway was awesome. That cutaway, out, like to the outside of the vehicle, it would have been funny if there was like a like an old lady walking her dog and just looking over, like the fuck, like the fuck. Shit, man, this is uh, this is different, different, different. I'm guessing this is this could be like a. I'm not saying this is trolling people into hey, you got to check it out. It's worth the hype, and then being served with something that's like, huh. But no, this is experimental music. This is something like, this is not something that you sit down and enjoy and pump in your playlist over its musical quality and capacity and like how it how it emotionally reels you in and how it, you know, changes your day. It's really something that leaves you um, a in awe, kind of, you know, like, what? Astounded, yes. And also, it you know, it, it, it pushes the boundaries of what is music what is what it, it, it you know it, there's genres there's all kinds of supposedly boxes that things are supposed to be fit uh, fitting into and they're like fuck no there's not and uh, that's always cool when people are just you know when art pushes the boundaries of what is accepted as this is what it's supposed to be um is it something i love no but it is something that really gets me to interact with the piece of art that I'm being shown. And that's what art is supposed to do. I've said this before. You should, in whichever way or form, interact with it. Give it time. Give it your attention. And then decide for yourself what you are going to make of it. And uh, regardless whether you love it or not, that the fact that you interact with it, that you give it thought, that you give it an opinion, that you... Um, either spread it because you like it or just, you know, let people know this is my thoughts on what I've just seen or heard or been shown. And yeah, they are achieving just that. They have my full attention. I am, I am, you know, taking it in and letting it sort of run through my thought process. And uh, it leaves me with a big ass question mark on my forehead, but uh that happens in fucking galleries too, right? You walk in here and it's like a fucking scrambled egg and it's like it's a piece of art and you're like, what? And the thing is called decay. So if you come back two weeks later, it's going to look completely different. So it is it is what it is, but it, there's deeper elements to it. And the fact that I'm constantly waiting for dude in the fucking ski mask to floor the paddle and actually go um, is something that, you know, it keeps the tension. It is super fucking weird, but... um. But intriguing. Let's roll back some. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now he comes in with the fucking... And now we get some easy listening elements in there, like the... the Fucking okay. Here's my road compilation sax uh, uh, track. Uh, so yeah, unexpected again. Even though I saw that there is going to be one, but um, it does it fit in there? So one thought maybe on the first half, when I said um, this is pushing boundaries. Remember when Nine Inch Nails popped up on the scene, or when Skrillex started pushing the boundaries of what is musical notes and what is just noise and sound. There's always pioneers to things. And at one point, when enough people hop on the, on the train, it is going to be started to, con to be, it's going to be started to consider, it, to be considered art or whichever, or, or make up a new genre for it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. And the sex dude is fucking awesome. He has a bass drum too. I, I'm just now seeing that. Oh fuck! Playing and drumming. We 
weird cut up, uh, cutaway. So dude who is, it, but I guess they're doing this themselves as well. This is probably what uh, wasn't me too meant when he says in, you know, unexpected or weird forms of presentation and settings. <laughs> that is exactly what this is. Um, that cutaway over to just do close up of his and super blurry, super, you know, not high def um, uh, camera capture. Just him. Looks like a, like the gimp is waiting for something. That makes the visual more interesting too because now we're like a minute and a half in and we have seen, we have grasped the setup of everything is happening in a car. So cutaways like that are, are, are cool for the eye. So double bass foot machine down there for the uh, bass drum. He's using both of his feet. And um, I think it was it wasn't me too, again, who also said, um, man munkelt. So rumor has it that uh, this could be said, J, not, not J. Cole, sorry, um, Lewis Cole, that Harry went to school with. We will probably never know. <laughs> <laughs> no it's a fucking dick i saw the fucking taped uh steering wheel element there and i'm like why are they using so much tape just to cover the logo on the fucking steering wheel? and it's a blow up it's an inflatable dick blow up <laughs> blow fuck this is more like this is more like an art installation. It's happening once, and then never again. And if you were there, if you were lucky enough to have been there, um, that's amazing. But no, they're capturing it, of course, for for YouTube. But this has a vibe of like a, a happening stuff that um, Warhol Warhol used to do when he was considered an artist most overrated bastard of all time i'd say but anyway so dick in the face gimp now has the dick not in the mouth but close enough and that fuck he just i guess he just took his foot off the brake and like super slow-mo rolled into that uh into that pole i'm digging it because it is so far from i know what's gonna happen it is so far from everything you've ever seen or heard it's not, you know, jackass stunting people or anything, like because the video camera quality footage sort of gives you that impression that they are pranking. But no, it is everything but what you are expecting. I love it. I love it. Dick. <laughs> airbag slowest airbag ever too oh we're getting limp he's getting limp on us piss in blood no so this is already the next thing I think everything, all of like instant thoughts that I've had consuming this, I have shared with you on the spot. Do I have any overall final thoughts on this? It is super nice. It, it is one of those things that, you know, the Instagram memes, it's like, send this to a friend and say nothing. And everybody's going to just sit there and be like, you, like, I, I promise you nine out of 10 people you send this to, their reply to it is going to be WTF. And rightfully so. Um, if you are like me coming into this, okay, suggestion from people that know their shit because they are consuming shit I dig. Not saying my reaction, but the content that I react to, of course. Um, and, you know, getting into this experience with that in the back, you expect 
not you, you know it's 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 not like that that you're being sent a link and no comment a, a, a to it whatsoever and it just leaves you there with huh now knowing the like having the bullet points experimental unusual in unusual settings in a weird form of presentation it checks it ticks all those boxes and uh me being a creative in advertising it is something you know i can just totally see how you are going to get stoned one night and sit around and be like hey dude you know what we should do colon and then insert any weird ass crazy idea you've ever had and i love the fact that they're just doing it they're just you know they're just fucking doing it and wait i need to go back now to um to the original video what the fuck um <laughs> It did generate 2.5 million views. So yeah, we're liking this. Um, and we're subbing to them because I am keen to see what else they are going to come up with. Yeah, so it's reached 2.5 million people. And without having read any other comments, I would say 99% of that is going to be like, I have no words or what in the fuck or, you know, just people left in left speechless and that is something that you know that is a goal an artist should always have leave people speechless good way bad way because you shock because you um you you, you grab their emotion because you whatever you do when people like leave your forum be it a concert be it a uh like a vernissage whatever when they leave your performance and say to one another i've never seen anything like it then you've done everything right. And that's exactly what this uh, what this just did. I have never seen anything like it. So thank you guys for um, giving me the, the chance to experience this. And uh, this being the very first user... Not, not, it's, no, it's not. We've had one before. Um, this is definitely something I would um, love to get into more. So throw in your suggestions and maybe we'll do, we'll do more of these... Um, surprisingly entertaining and weird things. Again, you guys, thanks a bunch. Uh, Twitchy, thanks a bunch. Everyone in the comments, thanks a bunch. It wasn't me too. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.